Now Anthony Joshua wants to speak and he's predicting Tyson Fury to beat Deontay Wilder ahead of their rematch next week. We unpacked. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. If you're new here, Listen to the video and consider hitting that subscribe button. Daily content, we working. Now, before I get started, shout out to ESPN Plus. Link in the description. If you would like to cop ESPN Plus, click the link for more details and it helps the channel when you do that. You can also get the bundle, which is ESPN Plus, Disney Plus, and Hulu. Three apps for the price of one, you know, $12.99. I think Netflix, I pay, I got all that stuff. So I think Netflix costs a little bit, a dollar more than all three of those. So I have all three. It's a great deal. If you would like to support the channel in a phenomenal way, you can click on that link. Now, Sky Sports, they got an exclusive interview. Let's jump right into it. Smash the like button. And it's Anthony Joshua. Now he wants to be vocal about two guys he's not fighting. Wilder versus Fury 2. Anthony Joshua predicts Tyson Fury will be victorious. He's underestimated with his punching power. It says Anthony Joshua has backed Tyson Fury to defeat Deontay Wilder, insisting the fellow Brit can hurt or outbox the American. Fury will challenge Wilder WBC championship February 22nd in Las Vegas before Joshua is expected to defend his titles against Kubrat Pulev. It says asked about his rivals rematch, Joshua exclusively told Sky Sports, quote, Wilder coming through is better because a fight with me is what people have been eagerly anticipating but i think tyson fury can win for wilder to win he has to knock fury completely out and he couldn't do that the first time for fury to win he can hurt wilder or outbox him fury has more to his arsenal so that's why i'm leaning to him fury can punch a bit He's underestimated with his punching power, which makes him dangerous. If you underestimate someone, it makes them dangerous because you don't respect them until you get hit. Fury is a really good boxer to a certain degree, so he has the upper hand. Wilder isn't the best of boxers, but he has a right hand. If you can avoid that, then you have the beating of him. Good luck to Fury. It would be great to have two heavyweight champions here in England. Joshua insists he still wants to crown Undisputed 2020. I'm still clawing after the last belt that's out there. I know I'll get my hands on it eventually. He says that about becoming two-time champion. I don't want to do what Andy Ruiz did and lose it right away. I want to hold it a number of years. Trust me, I'm a different beast or a different beast has awoken. Joshua previously claimed he would make a curveball offer to fight the winner of Wilder Fury tempting them from a third fight with each other. Eddie Hearn, what did he say? Told Sky Sports Wednesday a deal could be easier to make with Fury than Wilder. Wilder said he has no interest in Joshua and Joshua is irrelevant. That is baffling, Hearn said. This is why I want Fury to win because I know he's up for it. One call with me and Bob Arum and MTK and we can make it happen. AJ wants to fight Fury. Fury wants to fight AJ. It's a two-minute call with mtk and bob arum done deal but i'm not sure who will win wilder fury the comments worry me that we're in the same position the winner of that fight will be under so much pressure to fight joshua that this time it will be unavoidable the curveball is in terms of those guys are preparing for a third fight and we have an opportunity in place so we could present the winner a move away from a third fight if the loser wants a third fight then we're tied listen um, more clout chasing from rematch room from Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn. And it's, it's really becoming like deplorable. Speaking of deplorable, another thing that is deplorable to me is, um, this, this country patriotic UK b commentary bias, man. Like it, it's, it's the UK in boxing. They have really overstayed their welcome. Like, I, I feel like there's always going to be great uk boxing was founded in the uk 
So I don't mean like worldwide UK boxers won't um, have a lane or whatnot, but just the people representing the UK are in, in general, like the, the top guys that have been here, they're, they're not doing a service to boxing. That's just really how I feel. Now, there are some guys like Daniel DeBois, Joe Joyce. That's a great fight. And see, the thing I like is they're not doing too much. They have a great fight ahead of them. So to me, they're not cloud chasing Wilder, cloud chasing Tyson Fury. Joe Joyce isn't talking about sparrings with, with Tyson Fury and what he would do to the winner. Like they're focused on their task at hand. However, Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua overplayed their hand. They avoided Wilder. And I think that that much is um, very evident by all the evidence that we've seen in the last two years or whatnot. And now they're trying to save face. And when Wilder and Fury are tied up, use these guys' names and talk about, oh, I want to fight Fury next. And I think Fury and there is really sad. It's sad to see because Joshua was the man. He was the heavyweight um, kingpin. He was the guy that everybody was turning to to make something happen. And now he's sitting up here on the sidelines having to make predictions and talk about who he'd rather win and who who he thinks is going to win. And I just think there's a lot of bias when, when it comes to a lot of the UK commentary. He like you guys could believe whatever you want, but I'm glad that people like Joshua are putting this out there saying Fury can win two ways. He can box him and he can um, knock Wilder out. That's great. So if Wilder wins, I don't want to hear no excuses, you know, because they already tried old media already started trying to build up excuses and say that. Tyson Fury was weathered and, you know, the auto violin depleted him and took too much out of him. So glad that Anthony Joshua is saying that Fury can win multiple ways. I don't think he's underestimated. I mean, the guy's almost seven feet tall. He moves well and, you know, he hurt violin. He knocked out the other dude, Tom Schwartz. So, I mean, anytime you have somebody who's going to outweigh you and stuff, I don't see why the smaller Wilder would be underestimating him. You know, for theatrics and showmanship, he's saying in the grand scheme of things, he can't punch. You know, Tyson Fury's pillow fisted. But Tyson Fury, like, bro, this is what I'm talking about with the UK bias commentary. Tyson Fury, per his record, and what Wilder is saying, Wilder is saying he's pillow fisted. He's not getting electrifying, shocking, Mike Tyson-esque, Deontay Wilder knockouts right so the UK representation Anthony Joshua is saying that Wilder he feels is underestimating Tyson Fury's punching power and he could really surprise you in there and hurt you right because Wilder's saying he's pillow fisted but then when Tyson Fury says something ludicrous like um I'm gonna knock out Wilder in two rounds which he hasn't shown that ability to knock out anybody of note who's Wilder's grade or better, Wilder's threat level or better in two rounds. The last person that he's done in in two rounds was Tom Schwartz. And this was an unknown guy who never fought outside of Germany, has a previous fight where he flopped. You know, a guy hit him and he flopped all on the ring, tried to get the guy disqualified. There's, there's nothing comparable to Wilder. So it, it's funny that Joshua is in this interview talking about how Wilder, he feels Wilder is underestimating him, Tyson Fury's punching power. But Tyson Fury could say, I'm going to knock him out in two rounds. And, and, you know, that's that sounds to me more unlikely than what Joshua is saying. I think I think jo I think especially an early knockout. I think Tyson Fury getting an early knockout in two rounds sounds more ludicrous than um anything else but once again this uk compatriotism and and, and nationalism it's just is really weird to me listen tyson fury is a good fighter he has a chance to win um i'm not picking him i think wilder wins and i just can't wait i can't wait to it like i i think too many people in boxing be it fighters or fans they really bet with their hearts they bet with their hearts and who they want to win and who like i think joshua and see listen shout out to wilder and shout out to fury because the bottom line and tyson fury has said this much as well as has wilder the bottom line is joshua is on the sidelines because he overplayed his hand 
if he wanted to talk wilder talk if he wanted to talk tyson fury now we're really going to unpack this if he wanted to talk about them so much why didn't you talk about him after klitschko fight for tyson fury before he failed the drug test why didn't you say oh we're gonna throw a curveball and interrupt the tyson fury versus klitschko rematch and i want a shot because they didn't want to match joshua at that time with the tyson fury when tyson fury came back you didn't really hear people were saying he's done and this and that joshua after the klitschko performance insulted tyson fury saying you don't go and rob the king and rob the kingdom and run and do this box 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 i'm coming to knock you out and tyson fury he's a runner basically so you had opportunities to fight tyson fury tyson fury has talked about joshua um greasy he said a lot and joshua never stepped to the plate and we know what happened with deontay wilder so it's funny that he's trying to coattail and piggyback off of wilder and fury what they got going on which looks like a part two and a part three uh, the back half of a trilogy now all of a sudden he's interested in talking about this man and wilder so much you know to me that's clout chasing you know you, you you're saying this guy's gonna win this guy the bottom line is they are fighting for the second time and they might have a third fight before you fought either one of them one time that's a problem because at one point in time not now but at one point in time joshua was the man in the division and he was the one he was what canelo is to the middleweights where he can he's the shot caller that's what joshua was when he was undefeated you know after he beat klitschko and stuff but they squandered that now you have joshua on the sidelines doing an exclusive interview you know pick it with his heart and i really feel joshua is afraid of wilder like not only afraid like he would he's he's i think joshua is trying to pressure wilder because he crumbled under pressure Wilder announced that he was fighting Luis Ortiz the week of the Andy Ruiz fight. He announced that he was having a sequel if he gets past Ortiz with this man in February. And he announced that also on a couple days later, right before Joshua was to face Andy Ruiz. That based on him saying that an American pressure, uh, Wilder smoking out Joshua the previous year in September. And then Joshua couldn't sell out at Wembley. And had to scrap the second Wembley date because the Povetkin fight didn't sell out. And they seen his profile took a hit because Joshua got smoked out by Deontay Wilder. The people knew it and his star power took it suffered because of it, you know. And then they all of a sudden canceled the second Wembley fight April 13th and then decided to fight Gerald Miller in America, who ultimately dropped the ball on his side and failed a drug test, you know. So I think I think this has been going on for a while. I think without any doubt in my mind joshua does not like wilder's style he does not want to get embarrassed he talks too much about losing and what if i get hit with he said this to andy ruiz he had a sports psychologist some navy seal he said what if i get hit with a shot and i can't recover so i think he wants tyson fury this is wishful thinking he's hoping for tyson fury's sake in his sake, he's hoping Tyson Fury wins. I don't think he believes that. I think he wants Tyson Fury to win because he knows Tyson Fury is not a ferocious puncher like Wilder. He doesn't want to fight the ferocious puncher. So all them stories of Joey DeVeco and David Price and stuff like that, I'm really starting to believe that because Joey DeVeco wasn't in the second camp. You know, you didn't bring him back in camp, but you just denied the allegation. You seem like you're rooting for Tyson Fury to win and Tyson Fury has arguably said things just as nasty, if not nastier, than Deontay Wilder, you know, in the course of their their beef. He wants him to win because he knows Tyson Fury is a good boxer, but the power is not what Wilder's power is. Wilder has freakish power. Thanos, Black Thanos power, Banos. So that's what I really think is going down. Um, either way, shout out to Wilder, shout out to Fury. Joshua's trying to be, be the scene stealer. And, and it's, it's so disrespectful and this these these could have been joshua was the shot caller these could have been the fights that were made but you let these guys fight not once but twice you letting them keep fighting each other and then now all of a sudden you want to get involved and mention their names tyson fury just did an interview and he said basically joshua ducked wilder you know so it's just sad to see where where joshua was the shot caller of the division and 
now Wilder and Fury the stars. They the ones making the money. Tyson Fury did the WWE, wrote an autobiography. He's in an important, the biggest fight announced for 2020 so far. And he's about to get pay-per-view money. And you sitting up here on DAZN from the sideline because no one's talking about your fight. No one really outside of the UK, no one really cares about the Q-Brat Pullet fight like that. You know? And you, you sit up here and, oh, I, I hope Tyson Fury wins. And I think he'll win because this, he can win two ways. And, and then the uh, last thing I want to say about this, we unpack coming to you live. I really feel that Deontay Wilder, you know, some people, JD's did a great job at the, on the media call. And he explained that a lot of people don't know what they're seeing. They can't, they don't value what Wilder's doing because they're, they're analyzing, um, certain things of his game or the technique don't look pretty enough for them but there's a lot of people that have these misconceptions he says i see joshua don't sound confident he he tries to exude confidence but he don't sound confident but i think fury can win put some money up bet bet a couple quid bet a couple pounds you know a couple million pound on fury he's not willing to do that he's just saying this stuff trying to put pressure on wilder and clout chase but anyway he says for Fury to win, he can hurt Wilder or outbox him. He didn't hurt him in the first fight. Wilder looked tired, if anything, you know. He says Fury can punch a bit. He don't sound confident. He keeps saying that he's trying to put pressure on Wilder. I'm telling you, no one's falling for that. And I can't wait till February 22nd. So if Wilder wins, everybody got to bow down and give him his credit. If he loses fair square, then we could talk about that. But um he says Fury is a really good boxer to a certain degree. He has the upper hand. Wilder isn't the best of boxers, but he has a right hand. First of all, Wilder has power in both of his hands. That's one thing people keep they keep talking about this right hand. I've seen him set things up or hurt guys with the left, with like left hooks and stuff. So that's one thing that the, this Joshua is a professional fighter and a gold medalist, but he don't see that. And I'm sitting up here on YouTube and I see that. So anyway, Wilder has power in both hands. Everyone keeps focusing in on the right hand. Okay, that's the money shot. You know, Pacquiao, he started improving his right hand as well. He, Yeah, he's, his left hand probably does the, the best damaging shots, but he can still clip you with that right hand too, you know? I think he might have hit Keith Thurman to the body with the right hand. I got to watch that again. But anywho, people keep saying Wilder's chicken legs and Wilder. It's like, it sounds like real life casual fans breaking down these fights sometimes you know wilder he's not the best boxer if you could avoid that right hand you have the beating of him bro if it's that simple why didn't you fight him if it's that simple how come expert boxers like luis ortiz with tons of experience and experience from the first fight went in there was doing well and still got bombed on with the right hand you know what i'm saying so it is is really getting asinine for the, this commentary from, you know, just Pauli Malignaggi and Joshua and all these people who keep saying Wilder just has a right hand because you're telling me what, what you're saying is not matching the action. We've seen punchers throughout boxing. Ruslan Provotnikov is a one dimensional fighter. I like Ruslan, but he's a one dimensional fighter. Lots of loads of power. But guess what? If you can nullify his power and outbox him and stay away from it for the later rounds and, and you know throughout the fight then we've seen guys outbox him like thoroughly outbox tim bradley uh chris algeri ended up outboxing him um john molina even outboxed him and then i think he retired he got outboxed by lucas matisse right that is not wilder wilder is doing something different he's not like oh you just take away this one thing if it was so easy, then Joshua should have showed us how it's done instead of letting this dude who was on a three year layoff wasn't the primary target. Wilder was after you. Wilder was checking for you. Wilder was smoking you out. Tyson Fury was trying to get his life back. You know, he had three years out. He had um, two tune ups and weight loss. So Joshua it's funny to see him on the sideline doing all this uh, commotion and, you know, making all these these thoughts. If, if Wilder just has the right hand and that's all you have to do is take it away, then you show us how it's done. Why are you waiting for Fury to do it? You know, we could have been got this cracking. But beyond that, 
how come it, why didn't Fury as good as he was allegedly 10 rounds to two and this is what old media is saying and stuff he's he's almost seven feet he outweighed Wilder Wilder came in like super low in terms of what he weighed in Tyson Fury was outboxing well you know in the middle rounds and he still got clipped up with that punch so uh, it's just it's really it's really like the definition of insanity the definition of insanity is doing the same t the same thing repeatedly expecting new results that's what people keep doing wilder keeps showing you that you can't just easily stay away and, and nullify and take away his right hand he keeps sneaking it in there he keeps sneaking his power in general in there but people like joshua keep giving these these lame breakdowns and it's really just oh yeah i think tyson fury can outbox him if you just stay away from the right easier said than done you fight him show us how to stay away from the right hand you know and it's just all over the place joshua he turned out 50 million and 50 percent of the the pay-per-view proceeds he said i don't want to fight in america for whatever reason that looks suspect but he said i don't want to fight in america because we built this great thing and british fighters always had to travel so he was feeling it he was feeling like i'm the man i'm the kingpin I don't want to fight. I want to bring it back to Great Britain. Now his promoter is talking about even if the Tyson, he's saying the Tyson Fury fight could be made over the phone with Aram in two minutes, yet you haven't made it in all this time, but it was Shelly Finkel and Al Heyman and Wilder's people that made the fight in two minutes when Joshua ducked out to fight Povetkin, right? So Eddie Hearn is selling wolf ticket. He's saying it's easy to make, but you ain't made you ain't made now is is already joshua already lost nobody cared we already seen fury knocked unconscious you know why don't you make it when fury beat klitschko or any other point before wilder you know got his uh saga with tyson fury cracking you know it's just looking real bad it's looking real bad um to me it just don't make sense for joshua to be doing all this and saying all this stuff you could have fought wilder show us how it's done you left it up to big bro Tyson Fury to to complete the mission. And now you're like offering to spar. It just looks real weak to me. Offering to spar with him and help him out, even though he's supposed to be your sworn enemy and nemesis. It's like the UK guys are like, they're like trying to keep UK boxing afloat. So they're willing to, it's just like the Avengers. Like I said this in the past stream. They need to join forces and double team and team up and, Captain Marvel, Captain America, Hulk, Thor, everybody got to team up for Black Thanos, Banos, you know, Thanos Wilder. That's what it's looking like. You know, oh, I'll help you spar. Even though it didn't materialize, Joshua offered it. Now he's trying to give him advice. Now he's trying to cheerlead for Tyson Fury. These, you should just want to fight the winner. You know, he's doing predictions and, oh, it'd be great for British boxing if Tyson Fury could win. Yeah, it would have been great if you fought Deontay Wilder. But like I said, you turn down 50 million, 50% 50 pay-per-view to be on trapped on an app and none of your viewership numbers come out. So I don't surmise that Joshua's numbers are, are doing that great. Beyond that, you said you got to do this for British boxing. Now your, your own promoter is saying if Tyson Fury, a British fighter, Joshua, a British fighter and a UK uh, British gold medalist, they're saying if Eddie Hearn saying if we were to fight, we would stage it in Saudi Arabia, bro. This team is all over the place. Why would you put in Saudi Arabia? Because there's money, but you wouldn't fight Wilder in America. Now this whole Saudi Arabia deal with the Saudi Arabian princes and tycoons and stuff. And now you would take a UK fight that would be big and impactful for the UK. If Tyson Fury were to win to fight Joshua and you would take that out and then put it in Saudi Arabia and make people travel. I mean, it just looks ridiculous. We unpack. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.